Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Ascension Season 9. Today we're checking out the Adventure Mode. I'm going to show you the little build that we're going with as well, mainly Frost and Hunter. So we have Ice Lance, Mind Blasters are going to come in handy. And I just picked these two because I had those. And we got Cold Dark Thoughts. This uh, dealing damage with Frost Bolt, Frost Nova, a lot of the Frost abilities. 15% Mind Blast, which is an instant Mind Blast, does extra damage. So then I also found this Mind Tendrils, which will give you a Fingers of Frost synergy with this. So if we get that, we get Fingers of Frost, which will then tie back into the Ice Lanch, which does triple damage against frozen targets. And then we also just have some extra stuff like Intellect. This is good for the Shadow. Um, this is good if we get low. And then um, this I just happen to have. I have nothing else really to put there. And then other than that, we're mainly just going to be rolling that. We hopefully get these two. Um, I want to get maybe like a uh, Frost Nova, but we're starting out with Frost Bolt, uh, Heal, Tame Pet, and I think we got the Frost Armor. So it's not too bad of a start. Uh, we're going to come over here to Stony Tark, and we can start the Adventure Mode. So Adventure Mode, all the enemies are going to be elites now. So basically, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Um, not as much going on in terms of there's no, no battlegrounds, no dungeons, um, no experience from professions. I think we have a we have a pot, so hopefully we can still use this. Um, and then also, um, there is, I think, a spot where you can level it up. Yeah, so right here, you can basically max this out, and that will give you more rewards and everything, but they're going to do a lot more damage. So let's see. Increased magic damage taken by 842%. Physical damage by 2600%, um, and a level 1 is only 125 and 50. So we'll start all at 1, see how that goes. Uh, let's see if we can use this. Sweet, alright, we can use that. That's going to help out a lot. Uh, the main name of this game as well is not only it's going to be difficult, but we have to do quests. We can't do uh, just kill mobs or anything like that because it's going to give us less experience. So we'll come over here and start the questing and see how it goes. See what kind of abilities we get and see if it's very, very uh, difficult or not. Uh, we will also grab that. So once we get to max level, we can do that. Um, we'll go with this as well. All right. So we, I don't know if we have any pet talents yet. No, not yet. Once I think level 10, we start. So other than that, we can still use a lot of the other stuff. I don't think we can get mail. I'm not sure about that one. But you can group in this one. So if you want to play with some buddies, you can always do that. We'll start these quests. And then I'm uh, mainly going to rely off of the gear that we get from the quest to uh, carry us a little bit. You have a couple of BOAs here. I need to get some better ones, but we will start off. We got to grab this one over here too. All right, boys, we just took out our first wolf. Usually those things that we one shot. And let me tell you, he was a, was a few minutes with these frost bolts here. So I think a lot of it comes down to because we're missing. Um, but we're doing six damage and we're just flinging these off and he's just eating it. They really don't have a lot of health, but we just don't do damage because part of that adventure mode, we also deal less damage. Um, I think it's like 50% or something, like a pretty big chunk. All right, we got our first ability, level 11. Let's see, reveal a new spell. Now, I notice a lot of these kobolds, they all like to gank up on you. Yes, mind blast, sweet. So we'll probably use that. I think that has a cooldown, so we'll use an on and off cooldown. Um, but yeah, for some reason, the uh, kobolds would all gang up. Like I had this guy over here attacking one. And then I turn around, next thing it was like 12 of them. Ooh, and we got this, sweet. All right, what else we got? In? We're about to level up again, too. Adaptive defense, okay. Dodge, that's always good. I knew I had that selected as well. Let's see, we got a, we got a hands. Okay, spell power. Oh, we're going to lose a lot of other stuff, but I will equip that for the uh, transmog. We are so far, we have to get these laborers. So this might be a little bit of a challenge. Ooh, that thing looks awesome. Uh, we can turn in this quest over here too. That might give us another level. Basically what I'm doing is trying to get any level I can as soon as possible. So it gives me an advantage in terms of getting more abilities and talents. Let's see what spell we get for level 12. Ooh, brilliant sword. That is good for the mana in case we get low. And Master's Meat Shield. Ooh, that's really cool. If we get Drain Life, it also heals your tame to pet. Oh, alrighty, boys, there we go. We hit level 60. We got a lot of random abilities here. A um, couple that we've been using, Blood Arrow and Arcane Bullet. There's not too bad. We got the Downpour again. Awesome ability. Uh, I got this Carnage thing, this Nightmare Roots, Splink. We got this Into Darkness at level 60. Um, other than that, we haven't really gotten too much. We did get our abilities for our skill cards. Let's see here, we got all of these. And then we also got our Mind Tendrils and Cold Dark Thoughts. It's kind of hard to gauge the damage because um, in the Adventure Mode, 
but we did finish that. We got our tokens here. And then we also, I think we got a crate. We'll sell this stuff and then we'll check out the crate. See if we get anything good. All right. I also got the achievements here. Adventure mode, level one. Um, ooh, we got some more marks of ascension. That's good. I think we got a bunch just from completing it. This is just our 60 cash. I don't know if this is a special one or not. Let's do, uh, ooh, we want to do some intellect. Uh, anything good? Oh yeah, that's pretty banging. Got that. Um, yeah, we'll take that extra spell power couple little things here and there this is pretty cool this little eye 18 intellect nice um and then this cloak uh no we got better stuff we also get all these droughts so we can uh extract basically and these tokens i think you could use these in the beginning or near those uh guys and you can buy some stuff there um i also want to use some of our rolls on the abilities see if we get anything good this card system is so much better than the last one, not having to hold on to all the cards in your inventory. So we didn't get anything too good, but this last one that we did get, we got Empowering Frostbolt. Increased crit damage bonus for spells and total frost damage. That's not too bad. Uh, a couple other little things here and there that kind of matches up to our Frost Shadow uh, thing that we're doing. It's about the Drain Life, and we got some kind of Drain Life spell too. I think it gives me uh, life to my pet too, which is pretty sweet. We'll train everything up. Uh, I think we're going to jump into a, a battleground. See how that goes with the build. Some little weird things here. There's a wave of despair. That's pretty cool. Actually, put that down here. All right, we're back over here at spawn. I think there's actually one storm one, but just carrying that over here is easier. There's our adventure mode, and we can deactivate that. And now we can go back to original damage and everything. We didn't die at all, which was great. Um, so yeah, this basically, this is what it gave us. It's a little spoil, so a little bit of marks. Since there's nothing really that crazy. Um, but we do have to find Harrison Jones. I think he is over here somewhere. Oh, I found my boy. Main man Harry right here. Let's see. Oh, those are expensive boys. Oh, that's cute. The Goldshire. Oh, that's neat. A little hearthstone there. A couple different, like, cosmetic stuff. Stick on a carrot. What is that? That's a trinket. Okay. Oh, increases mouse speed by 10. That's sweet. Ooh. And it also gives XP bonus. What else we got in here? Reigns of the Orange. Holy shit, that's a big boy. Different adventure set. There's a pendulum. Uh, here is a bunch of tomes. So these are different spells that you can get permanently. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's a Piccolox stone there. Other than that, there's really not much really worthwhile to get these uh, tokens. I got 75 just for the, the one. What about this blade? Oh, it's a pretty cool looking blade. But yeah, other than that, maybe this would be the best thing to buy. The stick on a carrot. That's 625, though. It's quite a hefty, hefty uh, fun there. But either way, it was a pretty fun little uh, challenge that they had going. The adventure mode. Uh, we didn't really get too much from our build. We got this wave of despair, which was pretty cool. Uh, I am going to hop into a battleground now that I turned off the mode. And uh, see how that pans out. We don't have any PvP power or anything like that. But let's give us a little bit of uh, how we're doing since we've been doing no damage the whole time. Uh, make sure we buff everything up. We'll turn this on. And we will head out. Let's see. We are a little bit in the lead here by 10. Hopefully we don't feed. Um, but we are range, which helps a lot in PvP. Especially these big battlegrounds here. Um, let's see. Where's everybody at? Let's see if we take this guy. Ooh, that's hurting. Somebody's getting me over here. Oh, yeah. The heals are awesome, boys. Right, let's see if we get close enough to do some range damage to these boys. Let's see if we can take this guy. We gotta get our proc of our unholy thing. But I noticed uh, while we're doing less damage, you can still see the amount of damage we're doing on the side. And I was hitting like 800 frost bolts. Um, and everything, but I was only doing like 50 because it was toned down from the, uh, the challenge there. Arcane bro coming for you. No kneecaps. The names of some people on here is quite humorous sometimes. Weed wizard. <laughs> Just want to get a proc or two off of my, uh, thing here.
use a little wave of despair thing. That was pretty cool. It's alright. I didn't really put too much time into him after I got to level 60, but it was still a fun endeavor. Um, it's a little bit slower than usual. With that, having the XP thing was definitely probably very nice to have. Um, I haven't done it without it, but definitely would suggest that. Ar Arctic Explosion. Ooh, that's pretty cool. We never did get um, the Frost Nova, but that should be alright. We didn't really run into any issues at all other than when those getting a lot of stuns and stuff, but... It was still cool. Definitely check it out. Check out some of the other challenges that they have. Uh, if you haven't played at all the new seasons, it's it's okay. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. But some of the new uh, features with the randomization is a little bit much. But once you start playing a little bit more, you'll uh, get into a better rhythm, and then there's a little bit more you can play. But don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.